segment partition 7.6b. We have 12 previous videos for chapter 7 if you need them in the geometry playlist. A directed line segment is a segment between two points A and B with a specified direction from A to B or B to A. To partition a directed line segment is to divide it into two segments with a given ratio. Finding the coordinates of a point in a directed line segment, we can find the point P along the directed line segment, this purple line, from point A at negative 8, negative 7 to point B, 8, 5, that divides the segment into the ratio 3 to 1. We can also write it 3 to 1 like that. We find the rise and the run of the directed line segment, and it's where the horizontal run meets the vertical rise. We count there's 12 boxes here, and there's 16 here, so the rise is 12 and the run is 16. And point P is 3 fourths the way between points A and B. So we'll find 3 fourths of both the rise and the run. 3 fourths of the rise is 3 fourths times 12, which is 9. And 3 fourths of the run is 3 fourths times 16, which is 12. So we have a 9 and a 12. And point P is 9 units up and 12 units right from point A. And its coordinates are negative 8 plus 12 and negative 7 plus 9. So it's at 4 for x, 2 for y. And we've partitioned segment AB with a ratio of 3 fourths. And directed line segments have both length and direction. And 3 fourths is a 75% partition point. If it was a half, we'd have a 50% partition point, wouldn't we? And if it was a fourth, we'd have a 25% partition point. Okay? Now, I hope you have a compass and a straight edge handy, because we're going to be using construction to draw a point in a directed line segment. And given the direct, directed line segment from A to B, we're going, to, we're going to construct a point F that divides this segment into the ratio 1 to 2. We can also write it like this, 1 to 2, from A to B. We're going to use a straight edge to draw AC, so it doesn't matter the exact measure of the angle isn't important, but the construction is easiest for angles about 30 degrees to 60 degrees. So try to make your angle between those, okay? We place the compass point on A and draw an arc through ray AC and label the intersection D. Then, using the same compass measure, we set it on D and make another arc and we mark that as E. Now, we connect points B and E, we draw a segment, and construct an angle congruent to angle AEB, this one right here, with D as its vertex. If you remember how to do that, what we're going to do is, we're going to take our compass, put it on A, and we're going to measure the distance between A and E, and we're going to draw an arc all the way through AB. And now we've got F, okay? And we can connect DF if we want to. We label the intersection of the angle with ray AB as point F, and point F divides the segment into the ratio 1 to 2, okay? Our next lesson is direct variation, that's 7.6C, before we get into ch chapter 8. All right, we're going to talk about some right triangles in Chapter 8. So I hope you've been practicing with your compass and straight edge, and now you know how to do a segment partition. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.